y'all welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is katie and i make stuff vegan okay so boom so i'm a day late but we ain't gonna talk about that we're gonna talk about how i made these chicken vegan chicken and potatoes taquitos and like the best thing i've had in a long time well i don't know it was mad good you have to try it and i'm just so proud of this so if you want to see how i made vegan chicken potato and what i call it taquitos vegan chicken and potato taquitos it's a little hard to say. Keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so you never miss any of my videos. And as always, the link to the detailed recipe will be in the description box below. Okay, let's get started. Okay, y'all. So this is one of those recipes that's good for like a weekend, maybe a day you got out of work early, you got more time. Because it just took me a minute. I feel like from start to finish, it took me like an hour to do everything because it's just so many steps. But when I tell you it's worth them and not to no lie, all right, darling? All right, so I said vegan chicken and potatoes, right? So we are going to make the vegan chicken. So I took some water. I think the amount of water doesn't matter, but I did put an amount in the recipe. I think I said four cups because you're going to boil the soy curls to infuse them with the chicken flavor. And I put some bay leaves in there and some onion. If you don't want to use soy curls because you don't like faux meat or whatever, which soy curls aren't faux meat. They're just like, that's another source of protein. You can leave them out. I think potato taquitos will be chef's kiss, to be honest. Or you can use mushrooms and just like um, slice them up and saute them if you wanna do that. Um, you can use another vegan meat, even though I just said vegan substitute, but whatever, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so I boiled those for like 20 minutes and I'm going to, I was gonna leave it like that and I was like, I didn't love the texture. They were a little bit too soft. So I just sauteed, sauteed them up uh, with a little bit of olive oil. Um, also, if this looks familiar to you, if you've been rocking with me for a minute, I did make flautas like back in the day, maybe like in 2021, maybe late 2020. Um, these are basically flautas. I actually don't know what the difference between flautas and taquitos are. I don't think there is any. Um, and those bang too. I have a, and it, making these made me be like, dang, I haven't made, you know what I'm saying, flautas in a minute. I gotta make some flautas. Um, but yeah, you can, you can just do potatoes. I think that'd be really good. Okay, so I'm taking this Follow Your Heart uh, vegan mozzarella. And when I tell you this, this vegan cheese, like, I, I rocks with it. I do. I've used it before, but like not, not in recent memory, but I've used it before. But the way it succumbed to the heat, that's what vegan cheese is supposed to do. I'll be scared of the vegan cheeses that don't melt. Like, heat don't scare you you're supposed to be cheap you know what i'm saying but it melted right now i said okay follow your heart okay when i tasted this i didn't think it needed much more seasoning because i seasoned it every little i put salt with the potatoes and i put um seasoning that you saw with the vegan chicken the soy curls but i was like you know some adobo might spice it up you know a little garlic powder for the girls but um you don't have to this was so delicious i like i had to stop myself from eating it just as it was because it's like it's literally cheesy mashed potatoes like it literally can't be bad okay time to construct the flautas you have to microwave the tortillas if you don't microwave them they will rip and they ain't, it ain't gonna work and it's gonna be a mess you don't want that now do you um i used to back in the day <laughs> i used to put them um, in a plastic bag. I had a Mexican roommate like one year in college and we, we fell out because she was trifling. But either way, <laughs> either way, that's not fair. This, that's my side of the story, but I promise you she was trifling. Anyway, she told me to put it in a plastic bag, but I don't know, like, I don't like doing that no more. So I just wrapped them in a wet paper towel and then microwaved them for like 45 minutes. Whoa, 45 seconds. Don't burn your house down. And then you just put like a bunch. I like I like mine like kind of full. I put like two tablespoons of the filling and I rolled it up as you saw. Okay, I'm making some salsa verde so I could go like this over it. This salsa was dumb good. I've made it before. I don't remember what context, but I, if I could find a video where I made salsa verde, I made it. But what you have to do is I boiled the tomatillos and I did like equal parts. So I did like four. Okay, that's a lot. I did five tomatillos and like four jalapenos, but it's around the same thing. And you boil them, you have to watch them. You're gonna boil them until the tomatillos change color. Because if you do it too long, it will get bitter. All right, so make sure you do that. And then I blended it up with some cilantro and then I fried it off. That was it, super easy. Like that was probably the easiest part. The whole thing is easy, it's just steps. Okay, time to fry them. I have seen, there's this creator I follow on 
IG. His name is Nettle Craves. And I'm pretty sure like when he makes his flosses, I feel like I've seen him air fry his. You can bake them, but sometimes like I've already been through enough. You know, I done boiled the potatoes and I had to like mix it up and I had to roll it up. Like I'm gonna fry mine. Okay, I'm gonna fry mine. If you wanna bake it or it's spooky, then bake it. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Also, you don't have to fry the salsa, but I be seeing Mexicans do that and I wanna I wanna I wanna do it the way they be doing it, okay? So but I've also seen Mexicans not fry their salsa. I fried mine, okay? I put it up. I see some people, they put more cheese, but like, I'm not really a cheese girl, vegan or not. So like, meaning before vegan, I wasn't a cheese girl. Now that I'm vegan, just cause it's vegan. So I just put like some lettuce and some vegan sour cream, myself food. It was mad good. Actually, the minute I cut this camera off, I'm about to go have some more. So you have to try it. Like it was dumb, good. Like it was stupid, good. If you try it, let me know what you think. If you're Mexican, let me know how I did, but don't do too much now, okay? Just be nice. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, so you never miss any of my videos. While you're here, check out my other videos because you guys know I love videos. Thank you again, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, y'all.